Welcome to Talking With Famous People. I am here with myself and host T-Funk and Fan First and Alex and Waiting For Name. And uh, Waiting For Name might be Alex. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes they try, they try to trick me. Anyway, I had this notion that we could come up with aphorisms and determine which which cognitive function that value of the aphorism represents. So for silence is golden, I think you might say N-I. Maybe? Hmm. I'm, I, remind, I can already tell I'm going to suck at this, <laughs> but it's going it's to be interesting. How about we come up with the sayings and you type them? All right, sure. Well, okay, well, I'll, we'll, we'll take turns. If, I'll give you, I want you to have a chance, too, T-Funk. Uh, uh, go ahead, come up with the sayings. Come up with the sayings. Let's see. So, well, what about, like, children should be seen, not heard? <laughs> I think that would be... An ENTJ thing, probably, or ESTJ. Mm -hmm. Okay, Alex's turn. I don't think that's a real value, though. That that I think it's, that's deprecated, right? People don't believe that anymore. Go ahead, Alex. Some yeah. Uh, what is it? A penny saved is a penny earned. I think that's SI. I think it's SI. Mm -hmm. Could be TE. That's that's what I was about to I was about to say T is that TE kind of I think maybe? I, I think that one's SI though because I think it's about yourself maintaining your 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 own uh, financial well being. Mm -hmm. Keeping care of, care of yourself over time in time. I don't know a lot of these to be honest. Or uh, like um, the old golden rule: treat others as uh, you'd want them to treat you. That's fair. That's a good one. I think that's Effie. Really? Yeah. Or, or maybe or it's it Fi. It might F -I. be Fi. Effie would be treat others as they want to be treated. Mm-hmm. The the saying is do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That's FI, I think. I mean, I, I agree. Not FI, FI. Because FI is selfish enough to have to have to say that <laughs> at all, you know. <laughs> and then uh, FI would position it the other way around, the more sensible way to position it. Do unto others as they would like to be done unto. <laughs> you know, why should we do unto them as, as, as I want them to do unto me? What if I I might like to do this, right? Well, mm -hmm. come on, other, argue with me. I'm doing unto you as you would, as I would have you do unto me. Well, yeah, but I don't want you to do that unto me, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Eric. A good point. Oh, okay, what are some other ones? A stitch in time saves nine. I say that one is T. I, I think that one's TE and the other one was and the other one we said is the money one is SI. So I think Stitch in Time Saves mm -hmm. 9 suggests that you keep track of the maintenance projects, the maintenance on your shit. I've always seen it as planning ahead. I I've always thought it as planning ahead. Maybe that's just because I'm T I Dom anyway. Why that's a TE that that's a TE thing, right? Mm -hmm. Planning ahead or do you think it's SI? Planning ahead's more more SI? I, I would think almost Almost T.I. But I don't know. I don't know. Like I, I don't said, plan. I don't plan, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. How about... Yeah, that, that, is a good, that is a good point. I plan if I have to, and I do pretty good if I have to plan, but I generally I don't like it. I'm not comfortable doing it. Right. I mean, I, I plan where I... Yeah, exactly. I plan for work when because otherwise shit falls apart. But even right. that, it's, it's pulling teeth to get me to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just doing it because I'm getting paid for it. <laughs> I'm just doing it because everybody's <laughs> counting on me to do something or else everything falls apart. So, mm. you know, but even that, it's like I, I went I just went to a fucking, or I had an argument with my partner yesterday and today because basically I want her to do all that shit. And, but but it's, unreal, it's unrealistic on my part. They don't know how to do it. I need to do it. 
You know, I need to do that at least yep. the first time. And, it, and it's okay for me to need them to do it. She basically told me, like, you can use my assistance to do this, but. And I'm like, okay, fine. I'm just being a dick, I guess, for no good reason. So, anyway, the point is, um, oh, well, if, you have, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. What's that one? Ooh. I would think that would be FE. I agree. How about, um, uh, when in Rome do the Romans? Oh, that's got to be something where people follow the structure. So, uh, where would that fit in uh, structure? T. I, I think. See, I think it shows relativism. I think it's T I. Hmm. Hmm. I don't say I have a hard time with that one because T I gets to a point to where, if if it goes against those. The logic of the thing to a point. It's, it's a trade off. It's always like a balance and scale. Hmm, interesting. Well, think of it more like yeah, ESTJ thing or something, but I don't know what that would mean because I can't I, I can't think of what their how their stack is. T, you got any thoughts on that? Hmm? You got any thoughts on what or wrong? Okay, I guess not. Okay. Um, how about uh, if you can't beat them, join them? Hmm. Uh, if I, I don't know. If I, maybe. I say any. Any. We're not attached to this. Yeah, okay, I, I just switch sides. Okay, I can't beat you fine. I'll switch fucking sides. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll argue this side too. Yeah. Yeah. Or I can't see any other possible. So let's roll. How, how about something like more? Modern that the kids are saying nowadays, YOLO, you only live once. Oh, God. Any. No. Any. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's straight up any. You think? I think that's SE. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's SE. You're right. That's SE. It's because they're both they're both launchy, you know? Yeah. That's why I got no. confused there for a sec. You're right. It's SE. What I else? think any would hey, hey, jump in and say, well, that possibility is not so good. I finally yeah. got one. What is it? When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. See, I think that's an anything me. You take take some bad situation and turn it into something useful. Probably an ENTP. Some... Probably an ENTP came up with it, or or it yeah. was inspired by an ENTP or something. Because I think that's some that's what we do. I think we do that, but I don't know if if it's necessarily in E though. Because any is like, yeah, yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, it's any. Okay. Next one. Do we have anybody anymore? have another one? Let's see. It is better to light a candle than to curse the darkness. I've never heard that. <sighs> better to light a candle than curse the darkness. So that would be a, uh, that would be an action thing. I got one. Ooh, I don't know. N, that uh, wouldn't be an N, it would be a possibility. I, T, E, I would think T, E, probably. Yeah, because it has solvency built into it. I think that's the difference between S, E, and T, E, is S, E's going to say, um, just do it, carpe diem, mm -hmm. all that kind of shit, and T, E's going to say, do this for this reason. Yeah, because, yeah, it throws the because in. That's kind of... The There's way. more than one way to skin a cat. I think any. that's SE because they probably probably just cut apart at a cat fifty different ways just to see. I th I think <laughs> any because there's oh, actually it could be t it could be TI because there's not more oh, ways yeah. there's that's not true, more true. than one way to skin a cat. There are more possible yeah. ways you might choose to beat to skin a cat in one way. You have to peel the skin back. You see what I'm saying? Uh, there's yeah, not actually yeah. more ways to skin a cat. There are simply there are not more more than one way to skin a cat. There are more than one way to choose from when choosing to skin a cat in one way. Well, 
starts I think there's more than one way to skin the cat, but the cat still skins up, ends up skinned at the end. But the ways of doing it, or the the first steps of the process, does that make a separate way? But what I'm saying is, there's only one way you can skin any given cat. You can't skin it more than one way because once it's skinned, you can't re you put the skin back on. About skinning cats. It's a saying. I know. We're talking about the mechanism. The mechanism <laughs> underneath it. We're trying to, to nail it down. The point being that, it, you know, I'm saying that it doesn't actually say. It doesn't mean what it says, right? Or if it does, it makes, and so that's why I'm saying it's 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 removed. It's it's conditionality. It's playing with the notion of conditionality, not in terms of any practicality. It's not prescriptive. It's descriptive of conditionality. Yeah, and these aphorisms are always much more fun to discuss when you take the, think of them literally anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got another cat one. Curiosity killed the cat. SFJ. Some kind of SFJ. Cat's got your tongue. You know, that's not, a, that's not an axiom. I would think SI. For, for um, curiosity to kill the cat? Maybe yeah. SI, because they, they don't want to try anything new. But yeah. Yeah. I would They've say... heard that, about somebody else who got killed by curiosity. I mean, I think a lot of those sort of things are combos, right? I think that's an SF combo. The whole thing. The whole thing because... Not I've been informed there's apparently more to this saying. I'm looking it up right now. Or to the curiosity killed the cat. Yeah, it's probably, yeah, it's, it's, it's probably like that old saying where people just cut it off and say ignorance is bliss. Curiosity killed the cat, but, the cat, but satisfaction brought it back. Ah, <laughs> that's crazy. They, they cut off the whole point of it. Yeah, that, that's just like the other one, the whole... That I just said that I've already forgotten. We we have been subjected to some sort of mimetic propaganda. They've cut off the only part of the thing that matters. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? They cut that part off? That's crazy, right? Who? Well, yeah. Some some fear monger saw that and went, "Oh my God, no! This is going to promote people to take risks and and shit. We get cut this part off, and then." And we'll... Curiosity kills the cat, but satisfaction brought it back. <laughs> That's a weird saying. Well, I don't know. I... If we let's just go with just curiosity killed the cat, because that's the actual axiom that people use, right? So that's the axiom. Regardless of what the original quote was, the axiom is curiosity killed the cat. So okay, mm. that one I think is against exploration, anti any. You might say that's as I don't think it is. I think it's it's fi probably. That's F-I. That's F-I. Curiosity killed the cat. F-I. Why go take unnecessary risks? <laughs> you think? Sure. See, I, this, that, that's what makes this whole little exercise difficult is narrowing it down to the most prevalent because that one you want to go, okay, yeah, it's somebody who's F-I and also S-I at the same time. Oh, see, I think, I think that's the thing. I think it both into probably they're pairs. Most of them are pairs. Few of them are pure. Mm -hmm. Some of them are pure. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, what we need is, what we need is to blow shit up. <laughs> You're going to probably, uh, probably be S-E actually, but any prob person probably said it thinking it was funny. All right, so, um, what's another one? So because of that, I had to go look up the whole full quote of, you always hear ignorance is bliss as a statement, but the full quote is, where ignorance is bliss, it is folly to be wise. So what do you think about the notion of ignorance is bliss? That's true. That makes me just want to scream, that's an ESFP somewhere. I think an INTP <laughs> came up with it. Yeah, probably. Because it's, the only person who's going to think that yeah. is not somebody who's ignorant. It's not reflecting the ignorance value. Yep. It's reflecting the, the struggles of the NT. No, it's not about how smart they are. Right. Tortured genius. Yeah. Or just how, or maybe, yeah, or just how we can't put shit down when we try to, when we're thinking on something. It just, just got to keep going. What about it? Tortured genius. Probably I am is it torture? They're they're tortured. I mean, I don't I don't see them as tortured. I see them as pretty as pretty comfortable. 
by and large. I think ENTP is probably the most tortured type. <laughs> I mean, we have a yeah, fucking I, I, rough I think, go of it. I think, I think ENTPs are actually the most tortured, but I think INTPs appear the most tortured to external people. Because whenever we're in our head and deep in that TI, people look at observing us and going, what the hell's wrong with that guy? But internally, we're like, da -da 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 -da. I'm thinking about this thing and the other thing over here. Is it there now, Lawrence Walker? Sorry, I got distracted. Lawrence Walker says there's no link. It is there now. Okay, I got there now. If you want to talk to Jim, well, you should go and, and go ahead. <laughs> It's just a terrible fucking channel thing. Okay, anyway, regardless of that. Um, so we're talking every uh, recent arrivals and uh, honored guests in the... If you jo just joined us mid-YouTube video, if you just tuned in and you missed the first 15 minutes of the YouTube video, well, <laughs> I'll give you a brief <laughs> overview of what we're doing here. Um, we have got a conversation going on where we're talking about aphorisms. We're talking about aphorisms and how they link to uh, cognitive functions. And we've gone over quite a few so far. Uh, what do you think about early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise? I think it's probably very similar to early bird gets the worm. No, I don't think so. And I, maybe? But I think it's, it's a... Yeah, maybe N.I. Yeah, we're looking for cheesy aphorisms. Um, how about the truth will set you free? I thought it was only the truth will set you free. Is it? Is that the mm -hmm. same? Only the truth will set you free? Uh, I, I don't know. I thought it was, but I could be wrong. That'd have to, uh, that'd have to be in ENTP, I think. So it, But it's definitely a TI thing. I would think it was more, I would say either more INTP, I, I mean there's also potentially the, the ISTP is is uh, very right, right, things are correct and incorrect focused. Black and white, yeah. If you have time to do the job, you have time to do the job right. <laughs> are we talking cognitive functions or type? Because, yeah, I think that's TI. We're talking cognitive functions in general, like saying, well, I, I've suggested that a lot of these probably represent a combo of two functions. So they probably represent, you know, a type that, uh, that, that values that highly. But we're trying to nail it, narrow it down to one, but it, I, I don't know. We haven't done any combo ones yet. Uh, can you think of any aphorisms, Lawrence Walker? No, I don't really know any off the top of my head. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. But you can drown his ass. Uh, what? What did you say? <laughs> but you can drown his ass. Or you could drown him. You could drown him. That's true. That probably won't help if your problem is a thirsty right, horse. Right. But that, that's just that's just the right bet version. Yeah, you can drown him. Uh, what do you think? Hmm. Drink. F I probably. Right. You can try to manage my emotions, but I'm not going to respond accordingly. I'm still mad at you. I'm still going to do my own shit. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, you can't control it. So, so the Google here's the Google list of uh, of the first search on cheesy aphorisms. It's what's on the inside that counts. I mean, that could be that could be a number of things, right? Right. I, I guess I guess I'd say FI probably. Maybe FE because you're trying to tell somebody that they're not. <laughs> yeah, that one's a little too vague. I think to even nail down to one because would you be saying that about yourself or about others? Yeah. Well, the idea that would determine whether you would say it was FI or FE. It's hard to separate the value from the from the action of speaking those words, right? Because Lorenz Walker right. pointed out that if you're saying it to somebody, you're probably trying to reassure them of something. Yeah, but if you're not trying to, to, but, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry to interrupt. 
Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Right. <laughs> number, two, number two on their list is to the world you are one person, but to one person you could mean the world. Oh God. That is cheesy. Um <laughs> F E F I F E. Oh, one of the F's. Yeah, that's th those are a little too mixed. I like the classic ones <laughs> working much better. I don't necessarily agree with everything I say. That's an interesting aphorism. That's from Groucho Marx yeah. or something, right? Um, well, that's that's N E for sure. That's N E. Yeah. As is Walt yeah, Whitman's statement. So I contradict myself. I'm large. I contain multitudes. <laughs> That's what Walt Whitman said about the propensity of the E and TP to contradict himself, although he probably didn't say it about that explicitly. But Apparently that one is that. from somebody named Marshall McLowen. Is that who they attributed the... Uh... Yeah, the aphorism to? What's, read it again. I don't necessarily agree with everything I say. Right. Uh, okay, so I was wrong about who said it. Um, the most important thing is to never stop questioning. Ti. Yeah, I think that one's pretty easy. The difference between fiction and reality is that fiction has to make sense. <clears throat> That's a tough one. I take T E maybe. Yeah, that's what I uh, T It would be the lament of a of a T E Dom complaining that people won't behave rationally or in accordance with his understanding of them. Mm. Um always drink upstream from the herd. That could be N I could be any I use one of the ends. I think I think ends like to be different. I guess that, yeah. I guess it depends on which way you take it. I would say that's more SI of don't get turds in your mouth because you know what's coming down the creek. SE, you said SE. S SI. SI. Yeah. So you take it really literally. Yeah. I, I I think of it as yeah. as any and any sort of of. Conformity to the group will leave you near their shit. Mm. That's probably the true meaning. I don't know. Could be either way. Okay. Any? Do we have any other aphorisms we want to throw out here? Can we? Can uh, we? Can we go the other direction. Can we try to think of aphorisms we haven't thought of yet for each of the ones. Can we start with any? I'm gonna try to think of some. You guys think of some too. If for that we haven't said yet for any. A new. That's it. That's interesting. Go west, young man. No, that's S E. S E. Yeah. Oh, so trying to do it backwards, not make new ones. Okay. N E. I know there's, there's a few Oscar Wilde quotes that seemed have always seemed N E to me. I don't know if I can remember them. I think I'm going to do a little Googling myself here. Google, Google, Google. You okay. got a lot of good ones. And I don't know why anytime, anytime, anytime anyone mentions Oscar Wilde, for some strange reason in my head, the Winston Churchill quote where he was talking to Lady Astor. And oh, I love said, this. Yeah, where she said, uh, if you were if you were my husband, I would poison your drink. And he replied to her and says, well, "If I were your husband, I would drink it." Yeah. <laughs> That's two things can happen. No, I think there's a better one. When the woman uh, when the woman calls him drunk and he says, "Yes, ma'am," but in the morning I will be sober. You will still be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are ugly, but in the morning I will be sober. That's not what I want there. I want to Oscar. When skunks duel, wind direction is everything. 
I think that that sounds any-ish to me. <laughs> yeah, usually if it makes me laugh, it's going to be some form of any humor. <laughs> we we are all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. That's an Oscar Wilde quote. That's depressing. Good ideas are a dime a dozen. Bad ones are free. That's any for sure. Mm. <laughs> That's like textbook any. That was a good one. I have the simplest tastes. I am always satisfied with the best. If you hear hoofbeats in Central Park, you don't think zebras. Who said that? <laughs> it's the saying saying simplest solution is usually the correct solution. Well, I mean, oh, I, I think that take off of Occam's razor. I, I think the the uh, <laughs> the function there is going to be. Um, it's going to be S over N is what that is. It's like value S over N. Cause I hear her beats I don't know I'm not willing to I'm not willing to concede the point that it might it might very well be zebras. What are you talking about? It's the living New York. It's the same as quacks like a duck, swims like a duck. You know, like that one. You're familiar with that one. It looks like a duck. Sounds like a duck, quacks like a duck, it must be a duck. Oh, yeah, there's a probably a pretty ENTP one from Oscar Wilde. I'm so clever that sometimes I don't understand a single word of what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's an ENTP right there. That's a fucking ENTP. I tell you, he's a... I'm impressed with him. He, I, I'm happy to have him as a representative of my type. Sometimes people want to say he's a... Um, ENFP. It's insane. Alex, have you watched Dr. House House MD? Yes. Uh, yeah, he, I think I think he's an INTJ. I just with, with like some ENTP. All right. Come on. What about this? So TI. We got we got any what's TI? What's the quote for TI? What's the best quote we can think of for TI? I think, therefore, I am. <laughs> well, uh, that's a pretty good one. That's a pretty <laughs> damn good one. Is that, yeah, that's, well, yeah, that's, yeah, I guess. Okay. That guy's pretty smart. Yeah, he is. He sure is. Uh, let's see. What's about thinking? Best quote for, for T.I. Dom. Um... Uh, would this work? Cynicism is an unpleasant way of saying the truth. Is that T.I.? Mm, possibly. I think F.E. F.E.? Yeah. I, I, it, it sounds too bitter for pure T.I. I don't like the cynicism part. I don't think T.I. goes with cynicism necessarily. Yeah, I, I would well, I would flip it the other way and say it's not cynicism if it's the truth. Is it would be more more I would think Ti. So that's and anything that's opposite of Ti, I always think of as Fe. But I don't know if that's always true or not. This seems to me that it usually is. Let's see. I'm really about thinking. Okay, what do you think about this value? If you spend too much time thinking about a thing, you'll never get it done. Bruce Lee. Was not an INTP. <laughs> no, got to gotta be... S-E? S-E, S -E, S -E, yeah, S-E, I would think. Yeah, S-E. How about thinking? Thinking is the talking of the soul with itself. T.I.? Ooh, yeah. I think so. It's by Plato. That quote. Let's see if I can find the one that I really want to find one that sums up T.I. Doms. Let's see. Ah, 
this one. This is this is it. Here's the TI quote of a lifetime. The perfect quote for TI Domes. By Robert Frost. Yeah, he'll be a good one. Of course I uh, accidentally moved away from it. Let's see if I can find it again. Of course I did. At exactly the wrong time. Where is it? While you're looking for it, a uh, fun uh, Steve Wozniak quote, wherever smart people work, doors are unlocked. That's true. Hmm. Yeah, that is true. He's an ENTP. Yeah, well, he was dumb at the end that he could heal himself with the magic. I'm not talking about Steve Jobs. I'm just talking about Steve Wozniak. He's oh, my bad. Liar. My bad. Yeah. My mistake. That's All a really right. good quote. He's a genius. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's an ENTP. All right, so here it is. Thinking isn't agreeing or disagreeing. That's voting. Ooh, right. that is good. <laughs> I mean, it's perfect for INTPs. <laughs> I have a quote for that. Yeah, that that was re yeah, that is really good. That that lay, that does lay it down. The other one I was thinking of was. Uh, I like how snappy it is. <laughs> Mark Twain when he said, "Yeah, that is very snappy." When was the one from Mark Twain where he said, um, "A lie is halfway around the world before uh, truth gets its pants on." Right. Um, okay, we're we're down to the next one on the list, which is FE, because I go in my order, right? <laughs> right. So the third I'm one, FE. Track of it. That was probably pretty easy. Um, I, like I think this they already quote. hit that one when we treat treat others as you want it. Well, actually. Treat others as they want to be treated. There you go. Yeah, well, that's not actually a quote, I don't think. It's just, I like this it's quote, though. It's not for FE, but the trouble with having an open mind, of course, is that people will insist on coming along and trying to put things in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or These actually, another good INTP quote is, is this John Locke quote, although I, I think I'd get one better, but reading furnishes the mind with materials of knowledge only. It is the thinking that makes what we read ours. Mm. Whenever anyone says anything, he is indulging in theories. Oh, Thomas Jefferson had a pretty good one. Wait, wait, it matters of style. It uh, matters of style. Swim with the current. In matters of principle, stand like a rock. In matters of style, swim with the current. In matters of principle, stand like a rock. I like that a lot. I like that. But tip, what did you say? What was the point you came up for? Fe, that was a good one. I I didn't catch all of it, but I think that's it right there. What was it? Not me. Who said that? Lawrence Walker, was it you? No, I didn't, I didn't say an FE one. What did you say, Tiff? What did you say, Lawrence Walker? I said, hold on, it's right here. Whenever anyone says anything, he is indulging in theory. Yeah, I say that's FE. Is it? Well, I don't know if it is or not, but... <laughs> um, I like the sentiment as being anti-intellectual. It's anti-intellectual. It's the opposite of TI, right? Oh, you're just indulging in theor theoretical nonsense. But it says whenever anybody says anything, right? So then on that level, I don't know. That's NE, maybe. Or SE. Somebody who has to touch it to know it as opposed to think it. I don't know. Or FI, maybe. Mm. Yeah, because they hold once once they got something in their head, they hold it. Uh, okay. So let's look at this here. Uh, for F for F E. <clears throat> what would this one be? Uh, people seem not to see that their opinion of the world is also a confessor of character. I N F J. I think that's N-I. But 
I think this is yeah, a good one I for Effie. I think I think it's a good one for Effie. Well, actually, it was more a little more Fi ish, but this one's a good one for Effie. What? No, maybe not. If you judge people, you have no time to love them. Uh. Yeah, I feel pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. That's a good one right there. I like that. Funny thing is, of course, FBs are very bossy and judgy, but they uh, <laughs> they they are likely to to it resonate with that quote too. <laughs> Ooh, there's an even better one. Peace begins with a smile. Yeah, that's that's good. That's clear. Uh, yeah, let's go with that one. Okay, now we'll go to SI. SI quotes. Another type of, let's see. Quotes about being organized. Besides just organization, how, how does like an SI look? Well, I think of it as the SI self thing. in time. The self in time. So, for me, I have a very uh, poorly, I have a very not solid sense of my own past. And mm -hmm. I would say that it's maintaining your identity over, as over time. Throughout like, time, throughout time, yeah. Yeah, and also, and that manifests in the short term as, in terms of scheduling and keeping track of your little objects, stuff like that. Yeah, I've approached my. I'm sitting here googling this stuff, and I've approached it where I think, okay, like in this case, who is a Who's an SI user that's famous that has some quotes? And let me look it up and see if any of those make sense. Uh, organization. Can you please not do that? That is really not okay. Um, now this is this is like ESFJ quote right here. Collect things you love that are authentic to you, and your house becomes your story. That's my fucking ex-wife. Okay, right there. We had signs like that on the wall, and she lived like that in no uncertain terms. Our house was her story. That is very much. I saw her tonight. She's she's a great woman, you know. She she loves to take pictures and do all that family shit and and still, even though we're not even uh together, um she still wants to maintain all that shit. SI, I can't, I'm having a problem thinking somebody who I know is an SI Dom as far as history goes. Who are the SI Doms? What are their types? ISTJ. ISTJ. Which one did you say, Alex? ISTPs. Aren't they SI Doms? No, they're TI Doms. No, they're TI Doms. It would be I, ISTJ and. I S F J. We must plan our lasting preservation rather than our temporary pleasure. Yeah, that's S I. Mm -hmm. And so is this. This sounds just like my mom. I think my mom's ISFJ. I finally decided that today. He who buys what he does not need steals from himself. My mom was so frugal my whole life. You know, like, we don't need that. Was We don't need that. We're not going to get that, and that's it, you know? It's like all the time she hated spending money, or she hated wasting money. She hated anything. Mm -hmm. She was very frugal and very... She collected aluminum cans. She kept piggy banks. You know. That's SI right there.
What do you think? What do you think about this one? This is SE. You think you don't need more time? You just need to decide. Hmm. I think that's probably more TE. I think SE wouldn't even think about it. They would just, hey, do it and see what happens. What about what is not started today is never finished tomorrow? That is kind of SI-ish because you're keeping, you're projecting a little bit out in terms of time as well. I think SI doesn't project out very far, but it projects out to the end of tasks. Mm -hmm. Never imagine a thing to be done as long as it, as long as it is not actually done. <laughs> that's, that's an interesting quote. <laughs> Nothing is particularly hard if you divide it into small jobs. That's, yeah, that's T.E. Yeah. I think that might be T.E. What do you think? Very structural. Um, let's go on to TE then. The next, the next, actually, the next one's NI. Let's let's think about NI quotes. If I was going to quote, think about a quote that reflects NI as a value, I would probably Google. Let's see, um, uh, inner truth or or eternal truth or something like that. Eternal truth. Or how about what's that word? Um, ineffable truth quotes. Ineffable truth quotes. I think I found a good SI one. What do you got? To neglect a detail is surely to neglect oneself, since it, since in the hour of danger, one's life will depend on it. Hmm. Yeah, I agree. That's got to be SI. That, yeah. SI. That, yeah. Well, I just looked up, like, famous ISTJs, and I'm just, like, reading off their profiles now. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, see. I'm going to see about these ones. Uh, so for NI, I, you could say, I, I think whole, whole things, wholeness versus parts is somewhat, somewhat one of the things that reflects NI. NI and NE are always one of those ones I just, uh, I'm, I have a spot for distinguishing the difference a lot of times. Well, three things cannot be hidden. The sun, the moon, the truth. The three things cannot be long hidden. The sun, the moon, and the truth. That's the Buddha. I think that's N.I. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Every thing we see is a perspective, not the truth. That's any. Some people think that the truth can be hidden with a little cover-up and decoration, but as time goes by, what is true is revealed and what is fake fades away. And I. And funny how these quotes are so, like, pe people are expressing, like, these people are are any or ni people expressing their own understanding of truth and neither none of them are thinking to themselves oh this is this is ni truth you know they're just uh they're just mad that people don't understand their understanding of truth If you look for truth, you may find comfort in the end. If you look for comfort, you will not get either comfort or truth. Only soft soap and wishful thinking. <laughs> I want that quote to end right there. I don't like the rest of that quote. <coughs> if that quote ended right after thinking, it would be perfect. If you look for truth, you may find comfort in the end. If you look for comfort, you will not get either comfort or truth. Only soft soap and wishful thinking. To begin and in the end despair is what the rest of the quote is. I, I want it to end on, on wishful thinking. Now this 
This is INFJ NI right here. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly what is essential is invisible to the eye. That's um that's like an INFJ quote. If the present world go astray, the cause is in you. In you it is to be sought. Can you read that again? If the present world go astray, the cause is in you. In you it is to be sought. Huh. That's a real internal locus of control there. Yeah. That's interesting. All right, let's go to uh, TE. We got three more. And this this video at that point will be ready to. We're at forty five minutes. That's perfect. We'll be under an hour. We'll do the last three real quick. We've got T E. We've got F I, and we've got S E. So for T E um, protocol quotes. A diplomatic protocol is a form of manifestation of good manners between nations. <laughs> okay. Who 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 has who who thinks that and cares about that? Right, right. This quote: "Protocol is everything." Those are too long. Um. Are we still recording? Yeah, we're almost done. I'm trying to find a good one. It's hard to find TE. I'm not finding because look, yeah. no quotes are going to actually say the best thing we can do is have a bunch of rules and make sure everybody obeys. You know, like, that's, that's not going to be a quote. It's going to be find Hitler or something. <laughs> mm hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> that uh, policy and po procedure is every you know policy policy is everything yeah, that works. I think I think yeah, but I think the best one maybe is this one. I is anyone who considers protocol unimportant has never dealt with a cat, except I don't understand where the cat comes into it. But at least it basically gets the gist of it. Uh, Even to observe neutrality, you must have a strong government. Yeah, that's that's T E. Well, that's T E for sure. They're important, but they're also made to be broken. Well, we all agree to T E. We are mm -hmm. I can just hear in every one of us the sort of like eh, 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 I freaking hate T E, you know? I know, I hate <laughs> it too. I hate it too. Uh, but you know, they still got a quote. Alright, let's go on to the next one. F I So that's gonna be all about I'm perfectly content. Quotes about pleasure and contentment. <laughs> Pleasurable contentment. When you search that, you might get something you're not expecting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, Delada. I need you to sign this. What is it? Uh, my grad knife one. Here. Oh, you're not going to grad light, you little missy. I don't like the looks of that thing. Congratulations. Excuse me. Oh, thank you. I didn't What's, know you were online. So I searched selfish quotes. Right? <laughs> the first thing that pops up, I have no respect or sympathy for people who act like they're the only one who's going through something in life. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. 
I would say the uh, an FI quote is this: "If this useless piece of drivel, drivel, a harvest of peace is produced from a seed of contentment." Yeah. What? <laughs> okay. Um. Let me just sign here. Here. I'm signing. Hold on. Let me just check some various things on this one. Strauss. Uh, there are some teachers or some other adults I can talk to about this dilemma. Yeah. Make sure it's going to be okay there. Female ID number. Oh, I don't have that. I'm just going to put one, four, two, four, five. No nickname. Um, what? Okay, I, uh... Okay. Oh, wait, wait, hurry up! Wait, can you... <laughs> Alright, <laughs> I just, you just stay right there and I'm just going to finish this Okay, out. so, so here. Look at it. Sign so there. I don't. You don't need to fill out your purple for me to no, sign. No, I it. know, but I'm just trying to figure out where you need to sign. Eric there. There's multiple signatures, so wait a second, please. Um, no. <laughs> uh, you can't tell in two seconds if their personalities are similar, can you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, there, please. Yeah. 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 Sign this. there, and then print this. God, your handwriting's. Freaking terrible. Well, that's disgusting. I'm embarrassed. Um, You're okay. embarrassed by my signature? Yeah, no, not your signature, but I'm this. Well, I'm trying to get, hurry up. Okay, well, that's not. That's just making me more angry. It's making me want to take a lot longer right here. <laughs> um, well, now I'm enjoying it. Because you really want to punish me, you have to hurry. Uh, <laughs> okay, name, parent, guardian, name. Just write your name I'm and your writing. phone number. I'm Don't. Writing. But can you write it not disgustingly? My most precious <laughs> <name>. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> disgusting on the side, Eric. S T R A U H. -S. That's not your dad's signature. Okay, and then phone number. Sixty-six eight zero seven. O seven one two. There you go. I'm pretty sure that's it that I need you for. Now you call me, then you call me. Excuse me. Don't do drugs. I'm going to do drugs. Okay, well, don't do bad drugs. I'm actually, I'm actually not going to do drugs. Don't do any PCP. I'm not going to do any drugs, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. But if, if presented with the choice to do or to not do PCP, I will take the latter. Very good, yeah. <laughs> if you get mushrooms, though... I said, if somebody tries to get you mushrooms, though, give me a call. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. <sighs> what does PCP even look like? I don't know. Are we done with this? We had one more to go. SE. SE is, fuck yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Rock America. Fuck YOLO. yeah. YOLO. Come at me, bro. <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> Come at me. Come at me. My bros are going to hold me back while I tell you to come at me. Okay, so uh, thank you, everybody, for participating in this. I think it was a, a fun way to go talk about cognitive functions a bit, go through those aphorisms. I think it went well. Thank you all for participating. And thank you for watching Talking with Fans People.